Okay. Yes. So, um, my name is Christina Zeidler, and I'm one of the co-writers and directors of Portrait of a Serial Monogamous, and we're here with our lead actor, Diane Flax. Um, and Diane, can you tell us a little bit about um, who you are? Who the hell are you? I'm an actor, and I'm a writer, and I've done a lot of uh, improv and comedy, and um, I've written a, a book up there. And Look, we're sitting, we're sitting with in my wall your of shame. In your wall yeah. of rooms. I've written for a lot of <laughs> theater and TV, and I have a radio show, and um, you know, I'm Canadian actor writer which means you sort of have to do everything mm -hmm. and i've been lucky enough to do that mm -hmm. and you're very funny mm. thank god you're funny <laughs> what drew you to the project well i thought the script was hilarious when i read it and i uh read for more than one part i read for i had uh, four parts so there were four hilarious characters and i thought well that's so rare to see a movie for women with four parts for women up around my age that were funny. So um, tell me what attracted you to the lead character or how are you relating to the lead character? Well, it's really great to have a, a woman who's in her 40s, who's, uh, uh, who's uh, smart and mature but a total fuck up. Right? Mm. And, not, and sort of likable but not so much really likable. And yet, uh, you know, apparently according to the script, everyone falls in love with her. So why, why do you think every, I know, challenge. <laughs> why? She's rethinking. Why do I think they fall, well, uh, well, I, I, um, I mean, really, do you have to ask? No. Uh, why? <laughs> because uh, I, I think that she makes the person that she's with feel like they're the only person in the room. I mean, that's what I relate to in terms of people that I know who are like that, or serial monogamous, who, when they're with you, you just feel like their light is shining on you, and you are it, and you're the center, and she is a listener, and she makes people feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, after the excitement wears off, she's looking for the next exciting person. Mm -hmm. And that's why she's a serial monogamous, and that's where she's going to learn that maybe this was the one she should not have let go of. And you have a really funny way of describing that um, that particular trait of our lead character, Elsie's. Um, and do you remember what it? <laughs> you called it doing panel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And tell tell me about that. Oh, okay, idea. so I see Elsie as one of those people who like does panel. So if I was doing panel with you, I'd be like, so Christina, like tell me, it's so interesting that you are you're a director, you're writing, you're an artist, you're a businesswoman. Like what is what? How did you get into all this? And how do you how do you keep it going? But I feel so amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and what's interesting to me about characters like this, mm -hmm. and this is where I do relate to her because I'm not a serial monogamous in life, is then you never have to talk about yourself. Mm -hmm. So you never have to really reveal yourself. You don't you don't have to be too vulnerable. You don't give too much away, and that's safe, right? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.